What's up friends? Today we're going to make a DIY phone controlled thermostat in less than five minutes. And we're going to take these parts and throw them in this box to control this heater. Okay, so the background story for this project is my thermostat stopped working and it's only used for heater control. I live on the coast in California and our places don't come with air conditioning by default, so I decided to throw this one away and make a new one. I was using alligator clips to short circuit my heater on, but sometimes I'd fall asleep and forget to turn it off and I'd wake up just getting cooked. So it's time to do something different. All right, let's talk about the parts that we're gonna use today. So we're gonna use an ESP32 dev board as our main microcontroller, which has Wi-Fi built in. We're gonna use a DHT11 temp sensor to read the temperature. Then we're gonna use a 0.91 inch OLED display to read the room temp and the set temp out and then a single channel relay module to control the heater circuit. Then we're gonna connect all of these with these black lines and that's it, that's all the info you get. Just kidding, I've got a proper schematic here for you. Okay, the temp sensor and the OLED display are powered off of the 3.3 volt rail from the ESP32 and the relay module is powered off of the 5 volt rail. Pin 4 is going to be used to read the digital signal from the temp sensor. Pin 5 is going to be used to control the relay module. And pins 21 and 22 are gonna be the data and clock lines for the I2C communication with the OLED display. Also, peep that 1K pull-up resistor between the temp sensor output and the 3.3 volt line. And the heater control system is gonna vary depending on whether you have a gas system or electric system, and then it's gonna be different, you know, per household. So you'll just have to investigate and do some homework to figure out how to control that. Let me know if you need help in the comments below. One other thing I'll address because I'm sure I'm gonna get questions on it is how to add air conditioning or fan control. This can be as simple as adding another relay module or two for the AC compressor and the fan and then adding control logic into the software to tell your system when to use the heater and when to use the air conditioning. I'll go over a little example of this when we talk about the software. As far as building this device goes, this is like a choose your own adventure story, okay? You can solder it up if you know how to solder. If you don't know how to solder, you might wanna watch some videos on soldering. You know, you could breadboard it and slam it in a bigger box if you want, whatever you wanna do. I recommend breadboarding it first just to verify the circuit and make sure that everything works. All right, so let's go over the software. So I gotta give a shout out to Random Nerd Tutorials for their mini ESP32 projects and repository. A little bit of this code was borrowed from them, and then I modified it for the temp sensor, the OLED display, etc. You can find this code at the GitHub link posted in the video description below. Feel free to modify it, hack it up, do whatever you want with it, I don't care. Okay, so I'll give you a quick rundown on how the code works. So at the very beginning, we're importing all the libraries that are needed for all of the devices and hardware that we have. Okay, so pin 4 is described here for the temp sensor. And then you're gonna wanna enter your SSID and SSID password so that this device can connect to your Wi-Fi so that you can control it with your phone. You can set a fixed static IP address here if you want. I've got it set to this value you can use, but you can always change that. Okay, and here we've got the web page data, right? So this is HTML and CSS. Feel free to modify this if you want, if you wanna make it look different. Here's our setup where we're starting Wi-Fi, we're beginning serial. And here's the main loop where we've got an if statement and an else if statement that respond to the temperature, right? So if the temperature is greater than the input message, then we're gonna turn the heater off. If the temperature is less than the input message, which is their set point, uh, then we're gonna turn the output on. And then we're also printing this information to the display, as you can see below that. And then if you wanna add air conditioning and fan control, you could uh, basically modify the if temperature is greater than input message section to include your AC and fan relays. Just make sure that you turn those off, right, if the temperature is less than the input message when you want the heater to turn on. Okay, so this is what the phone control will look like. So you can save the IP address as a link, right, a Google Chrome link, for instance, and then you can click that anytime on your home screen. Then you can enter the set point that you desire, press submit, and it'll automatically update. That's it, that's all there is to it. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked the content, if you enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like button. Go ahead and subscribe for future content like this. And definitely leave some feedback. Let me know what worked, what didn't work. What did you like about this? What didn't you like? Uh, you wanna talk? Let's talk. You have questions? Let me know. I hope that you all have a wonderful day and be safe out there.